This is Ride News Now. I'm Allison Hayslip. Here's the latest in all things mobility. Today, it's all about the skies, my friends. Flying car sounds cool, but the correct term is vertical takeoff and landing vehicle, or VTOL for short. So, what is a flying car? I mean, a VTOL? Well, imagine if a helicopter and an electric drone had a baby, and you're pretty much there. Many VTOLs are totally electric and use multiple rotors, like a drone. They're also capable of taking off and landing vertically, like a helicopter. Today, dozens of companies are working on this technology. The designs include futuristic exteriors, weight-saving materials like carbon fiber, and autonomous drive systems that make pilots history. But there's one major holdup laws and legislation haven't quite caught up to the promise of VTOLs. Well, they better move fast since Uber recently announced it plans a VTOL aerial route in the heart of Silicon Valley from San Francisco to San Jose as early as 2023. Electrification isn't just for flying cars. Battery powered airplanes are also zip zapping across the sky. All kinds of e-planes are in the works, including Uber Air's diminutive crafts, which could be shuttling passengers at 200 miles per hour as soon as 2023, offering handy vertical takeoffs and landings in major metropolitan cities. The Indie Spirit Award goes to the Amp Air Electric Eels fledgling tech, which retrofits old Cessna 337 Skymasters by coupling the front-mounted internal combustion engine with an electric motor at the tail for a sort of e-hybrid air shuttle. And an appeal to mass air transit comes in the form of Airbus's bird of prey concept, which was unveiled in July. With kind of freaky looking feather like appendages on the wings and tail, the electric airliner joins small flying cars and a hybrid version of the A320 Neo as alternative ways to take to the sky. But till then, check out this radical aviation news item. It's a bird, it's a plane, it's a real life green goblin hauling boote over the English Channel. The body of water between the United Kingdom and France usually sees record attempts at swimming, but the newest channel crossing record occurred last week when Frankie Sabata, aka the French Green Goblin, made his second attempt to cross the 22 mile span aboard his flyboard air. This time, folks, he nailed it. We told you about his first stab at the record, which didn't go so hot. Zapata attempted to drop in for a fuel splash up on a boat, but ended up splashing down into the channel and botching the attempt. But for round two, the stunt was pulled off effortlessly, with the Sky Surfer completing the run in just over 20 minutes at speeds of up to 110 miles per hour. Dude! Can we just put those other electric aircraft ideas on hold and all sign up for jet-powered hoverboards? We totally promise not to crash. Pretty, 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 please. For more tech news, join us over at Ride.Tech and be sure to follow Ride Tech News on your social platform of choice. Okay, okay. Hair's not doing anything weird. I feel like I ask you guys this all the time and every time I watch an episode, I'm like, my hair is totally doing something weird. I just need you guys to look out for me. Just need you to be my eyes. I mean, the A probably stands for air. It's just awesome. Everything is cool when you're part of a team. Oh, God. Squeeze. You f***ed him up, Jeff. Now we have to start from the beginning. Okay, I read now. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe. Also, head to ride.tech for stories, reviews, and more news.